Hi, this is Shelley Kraft. We're coming to you live on SNN Live. We're at the 14th annual B. Riley and Company Investor Conference here in Santa Monica, California. I have with me Lieutenant Colonel Steve Russell, retired, the author of We Got Him. And it's right here. There he is, Lieutenant Colonel. And he's also a featured speaker at the B. Riley Conference. Colonel, welcome to um, SNN Live. Thank you, Shelley, and thanks for having me. It's good to have you. So please read the book right now on camera just kidding <laughs> why don't you just tell everybody what what it's all about sure and then we'll get into what you do well i was invited uh, as the keynote speaker today for the b riley uh, conference and uh, i basically told the story about the hunt and capture of saddam hussein uh, I was privileged to have one of the units that was involved with that, and the book uh, We Got Him is a memoir about that that I wrote, uh, published by Simon and & Schuster, and you can find it in uh, bookstores, and the paperback uh, version is also out. Well, wow, you know, to read about that experience, uh, you know, with all of the history that went down subsequent to that, and it, it's got a, you know, all the boys in the unit came back okay? Well, uh, many people, uh, they, they know that the Saddam capture was a bloodless affair, but the trail leading to it was very costly. Uh, there were uh, dozens uh, that were killed, and there were scores wounded uh, involved with the units that ultimately uh, were involved with the capture when he was captured on December thirteenth, two 2003. So what are you doing on the book circuit, you know, what, what are you doing besides that? Because you obviously are popular at this conference. I can only imagine you're busy every day. Sure. Well, I'm a military analyst for Concerned Veterans for America, and you can find that at ConcernedVeterans.org. Uh, we try to uh, enlighten the public uh, on veterans issues, uh, military affairs, uh, foreign policy issues. Uh, basically things that are vital to the national security of our country and I serve as a military analyst and also a, a media uh, I uh, am a spokesman and, and do a lot of media for them as well so how large an organization is it well right now it's uh, several thousand uh, you know for the uh, sign up uh, but the core of the group um, they are a handful of veterans uh, and specialists that work together um, we uh, have among our ranks uh, of those uh, uh, Gold Star mother, uh, Jane Horton. She uh, lost her husband in Iraq, uh, or Afghanistan rather, and she talks an awful lot about the issues of surviving families. Uh, we have those that have served in the Veterans Administration or the CIA. Uh, in my case, uh, the Army and the infantry uh, involved with the things that we were involved. Uh, we bring a lot of different perspective to the table and uh, for people that want to be informed without all of the filters. So now you author of a big book. So what, why would you talk about this at a conference like a sure. financial conference? Right. Well, I, I speak to groups all over the country. Um, I've everything from uh, farmers co-ops to groups of scientists to industrial groups to law enforcement to military to patriotic groups to political you you name it it runs the whole gamut people want to hear an inspiring story and this story about our great soldiers and the things that they were able to achieve uh, is is that um, there were a handful of things I wanted to accomplish uh, in life before I die and one was to tell the story of our great soldiers that uh, a lot of people don't realize the sacrifice and what they'll learn in We Got Him is what it's like to get up every day uh, tired, sweaty, uh, under great stress, uh, what it's like to be in battle, uh, what it's like to have the pressures of leadership uh, what it's like to face uh, enemies that are trying to kill you uh, and at the same time keep a sense of perspective about the importance of what it is that we do uh, for our country. I think a lot of times although our country appreciates its veterans a great deal uh, we certainly sense that more than say during the Vietnam War but there are so few as a percentage of the population that do serve, America is really out of touch with us. They imagine that we couldn't get any other job, so we became soldiers. Or they imagine that um, 
you know, we've got this strange bent towards violence or some nonsense. But really, in the DNA of all those that serve in uniform is this notion to protect the country. And a brave gene. Well, and we, we feel very strongly about our country still. And as we come home, uh, we don't want to see the nation lost into the hands of the divisive and the self-indulgent and the visionless. We still believe that our country is worth fighting for. It's a great country and it has great opportunity. A lot of people that want to badmouth it and think that uh, you know, it's uh, somehow not uh, an exceptional country anymore. Well, most combat veterans would absolutely take issue with that. Uh, and so th there's a lot of that story that uh, to remember the fallen, uh, to be inspired about uh, the greatness of our country and that great things can still be achieved in the future. So you've obviously made a lot of personal sacrifices as well. So here's my question, and you, you know, I think it's on a personal note. My curiosity is, what did you personally feel like when you knew you had him? Well, it, as I've often said, when you're in the pursuit of something that you've been after for some time, it, it's really amazing when it unfolds before your very eyes and it happens. It's a surreal feeling. You never imagined that you would be a part of something historic. But I could sense at the time that if Saddam were in his hometown with hometown family connections, that uh, it may be possible to get him and it may be possible to go after him. And those of us that were involved, uh, the special operations uh, teams that we worked with, uh, two remarkable uh, groups uh, that we worked with during that six month period, as well as uh, the 1st Brigade of the 4th Infantry Division and the battalions that were involved with that. Um, the Saddam capture was a team effort, hence the name of the book, We Got Him, not some I Got Him. I mean, it, was, uh, it was the effort of our armed forces working very closely together in both the special ops and regular communities and, and just with the Iraqi people. Saddam would have never been caught without the sacrifices of the Iraqi people, and that's what this story unfolds and, and tells. So is the President of the United States happy with you? Well, you know, as far as the President goes, um, I mean, in terms of Saddam's capture, I think everyone recognized what a tyrant that Saddam was. Uh, a lot of people have been very unkind in, in uh, whether or not we should have attacked Iraq. But look, here, here's the simple thing. The policy that brought us into Iraq was signed by President Clinton in 1998. It was called the Iraqi Liberation Act. It was good policy in 98. It called for a regime change. It said Saddam must go. And it was good policy when we acted on it in 2003. Here is a man that murdered over 350,000 of his own people uh, 20,000 of his own political opponents from his own tribe and his own kinsmen. He attacked... He used chemical weapons. Sure. He attacked uh, every neighboring country except uh, for Jordan uh, that was on his borders. Uh, he violated Jordanian airspace to attack Israel with Scud missiles. The man was a pariah. He was going to have to be brought to account. He was in pursuit of nuclear weapons. Uh, there's uh, remarkable things that we saw firsthand. Everybody says they didn't have weapons of mass destruction. Well, uh, we believe otherwise. Uh, they had a zippy centrifuge, uh, which only a handful of countries have acquired a western zippy centrifuge. Uh, let me name them. India, Israel, Pakistan, uh, North Korea. Uh, what do they all have in common? Well, they've got the bomb. and. Saddam had a zippy centrifuge. It would have just been a matter of time with the right resources uh, coming his way. He had the know-how to be able to do it. But whether that was or, or was not, Saddam was a pariah on the world that defied it from the entire time that he was in power. He had to be brought to account. And if I had to do it all over again, I wouldn't change a thing. The man was evil and he had to go. Okay. Let's get that website out there, and then I have a message for our investors about We Got Him. It's uh, ConcernedVeterans.org. Uh, what you'll find at ConcernedVeterans.org is uh, you'll be informed about uh, veterans uh, affairs, uh, foreign policy, uh, things uh, with national defense, and a lot of these uh, items where uh, you may not always get the straight skinny uh, through the filters of our media. So, go out. We got him. 
go get it. Uh, so, Colonel, what other good work are you doing? One of the things that we would like to see done, and we've been working it for several years now, is a memorial uh, at Fort Benning, Georgia, dedicated to the fallen of the 22nd Infantry Regiment. Uh, we have a fund. It's at uh, the 22nd Infantry Regiment uh, org, and if they go to that website, uh, they can find out about our memorial. Uh, this memorial will be dedicated to the thousands of soldiers in the 22nd Infantry that have lost their lives, to include all Iraq and Afghan fallen, uh, as a tribute to them. Uh, World-renowned sculptor Robert Summers has done our bronze. He did the John Wayne statue uh, at the uh, county airport. Uh, he also did the uh, the Longhorn, the double-sized Longhorns, the Tom Landry statue, the Navy Bas Relief Memorial in Washington D.C. World-famous guy. But this is going to be uh, costly for us. Uh, we already have the bronze, but we don't have the other funds to set up the memorial and inscribe the names on the obelisk that will go up there. And so if folks are interested in donating to that, they should go to the 22nd Infantry Regiment uh, Society uh, website and look there. There is a uh, PayPal and other ways that they can make donations to the site. Uh, so that we can get these soldiers uh, memorialized. And ha families need a place to go to mourn their loved ones. Uh, sir, I want to thank you on behalf oh, well, of all you. of the American people. Uh, I appreciate that. Uh, you do good work. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah.